in this second episode we'll be unboxing this new Aclocks hot air gun. Welcome to this electronic project series. We will be unboxing, fixing, modifying all sorts of electronic projects. It will involve video game consoles, handhelds and anything that we can think of. If you like this kind of stuff, stay tuned and enjoy the show. Opening the box, we see that there are a few stickers on the top. The first one there is a safety warning. Next one is a temperature conversion table as well as a warranty sticker. Moving everything outside of the box, we get the hot air gun station and all the accessories. Removing the wrapper, uh, here as you can see is the front of the hot air gun station. The dial controls the airflow and the red buttons is the temperature controls. The next thing up is the hot air gun. It's made of a very sturdy plastic material and it has a bit of weight to it. You connect the hot air gun by screwing it on the station. Next thing is the power cord as well as the vacuum suction. This is for solder removal. Next is the manual which I can show you in the end of this video. Other accessories that I really like is the replacement heating element. Other thing that was included that I wasn't too sure of was a pencil type of thing. The next ones are the different heads or nozzles for the airflow. Uh, you connect them onto the hot air gun as I show here. Because I've been working on really small items, I will probably be using just the smallest nozzle. Gripping the hot air gun, it feels very comfortable and easily controllable due to the weight that it has. One important thing is also the hot air gun stand which you actually attach to the side of the station as you can see in the top right hand corner here. After plugging it all in, I've decided to try it out. This is a broken electronic PCB board lying around the house. I was very excited to try the hot air gun out and note that this is my first time using it. I wanted to see if I'm able to remove components with just a hot air gun. Here I applied some solder flux RMA218. I highly recommend it. It's a great product. I was hesitant to increase the hot air gun temperature very high. I read in other hot air gun reviews that hot air gun can easily overheat. I did not know the capabilities of this product so I decided to stay in the safe side. I realized though after some time that the temperature was not hot enough. I set the temperature to 220 degrees celsius. As you can see I was not able to melt the solder to remove the component. After further research I realized that a lot of factory components use solder that is lead free. This makes their melting temperature about 300 to 400 degrees Celsius. I realized then that I would need to actually mix the solder with a low melting point solder as well. Not knowing this at the time, I continued on to try to remove components with the hot air gun. At this point, I turned the temperature up to 350, somewhere there. I still was having difficulty removing the component as you can see here. After some time though, with a bit of pressure, I was able to remove the component. But as you can see, I kind of removed the laid pads that would not do in future fixes. The next one I tried to remove with this bigger chip. 
in the end though I was unsuccessful and I decided to try something else the next one I decided to do was this smaller component I decided with this one I would use a plain old solder that I had already at hand by melting this lead based solder with the non lead base that the factory had it lowered the melting point and it made it easier in the end to remove a component as you can see here I did not really do a good job but in the end I was able to loosen the component with this method that's when I decided that there must be some lower temperature solder and that's what I have suggested to you earlier in this video stay tuned for future videos where we try that low temperature melting point solder it should really make it very easy to remove components and not damage them with excessive heat using this hot air gun as you can see I was able to remove that component with just the solder that I applied overall this hot air gun that I bought was really good one thing it has is it has an automatic cool down when you place it on the holder it will cool down by itself overall it holds its temperature when you set it as well after using it I find that this product is very sturdy it has a lot of accessories and overall just a good buy I highly recommend this hot air gun I think if you're interested in a cheap and affordable as well as durable reliable hot air gun you should get this one I hope you enjoy watching this unboxing and review of the new Uclox hot air gun stay tuned for upcoming videos where we try to use the microscope that we've reviewed earlier and this device we will try to fix some video game systems in the meantime if you enjoy watching me desolder some other components please enjoy the rest of the video also if you are interested in checking out the manual please wait till the end of the video see you next time